Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Denny, and today we are going back to Rust Never Sleeps by Neil Young. And if you're new to the channel, I'm reacting to Neil Young discography album by album, you have playlists to check out more material that I previously reacted to. And uh, so far this album has been uh, uh, yeah, really good, I cannot wait to hear more. If you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for your attention and uh, your engagement, I'm glad to have you on board it again. And regardless um, of that, uh, if you have any comments, let me know uh, in the comment section below. Uh, I always read your comments and I really enjoy reading your stories and experiences uh, from back in time when uh, this album was released. If you uh, heard it back in the day, I believe this is 79, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, there was uh, tons of great music, 78, 79. Um, and uh, what other bands? How how did Neil um, actually? Um, I, I won't say fight the the scene, but uh, uh, bands like uh, Van Halen or Kiss were um, very popular. Also, some punk rock uh, as well. So uh, where does he fit? Uh, um, and I I'll love to hear your story uh, from and your angle in the comments. So, uh, today we are going to uh, ride my llama and uh, let's see what the song has to bring. And uh, yeah, let, let me know in the comments what should I check next after this record. I'll definitely be out checking more Neil Young. And last thing before we start, uh, if you want to go an extra mile, feel free to PayPal me or buy me a cup of coffee. You have the links in the description below. Thank you so much for your consideration and your attention. Let's dig into it. Remember the Alamo when help was on the way. It's better here and now. I feel that good today. I like to take a walk, but not around the block. I really got some news. I met a man from Mars. He picked up all my guitars and played me traveling songs. And when we got on a ship, he brought out something for the trip. He said it's old. Like any other Okay, so this was a very interesting song. Um, two reasons. One is very, let's say, trippy or dreamy lyrics. Um, was this like a, just like a, is there a metaphor here or is it like a, a dream that he had? Um, but in, in the previous song, I actually mentioned uh, how he doesn't want to rhyme everything because 
of the, if if he doesn't or doesn't serve the purpose here everything rhymes and it's uh, actually kind of fun all, almost seems like a i don't know like a uh, I won't say a joke song, but uh, some something in that uh, I'm missing a word here. So something in that regard, like very playful lyrics and uh, um, yeah, it's again it's more on the story. So I'm trying to understand the concept around this album and the backstory, how these songs came about. Um, I'm always interesting. I mean. There are bands who perform live and then they go to studio and then they um, put out a live record, uh, sorry, a, a studio record. And then there are bands who rehearse and then um, put out the studio album and then go on tour and play songs uh, live from the album. But here, um, to my knowledge, there's no additional material of these songs that has been performed um on stage uh in the purpose of uh, recording a studio record or other way around um or there's no like a uh, second or third album that was put uh in the same time so he had some extras so really not sure what was going on here uh i, I, I i'm sure that there's a reasonable explanation but um, yeah, I really liked, uh, so I, in previous video as well, I mentioned that there's um, like a additional adding of uh, band members or instruments to the song. And here we could hear very fat bass playing, uh, really um, uh, low bass, uh, bass mel melody. And uh, I really liked um, how how he sounds different with with the band here to comparison to other albums uh that he recorded with crazy horse um yeah they they really had um and still probably do have great chemistry uh i was actually watching an interview with him uh, i believe it was the one with uh, rick rubin that was released uh recently meaning in the last year or two and uh, yeah, he said that um, he com he's coming back to Crazy Horse because whenever they had time or they are into it, into the making a project, uh, because um, yeah, the, the chemistry and the atmosphere is, there's nothing like it. And uh, for him, it's the, the best band that he can work with. Um, yeah, so considering the lyrics, uh, maybe you can again help me out. Uh, should I take these literally or is there anything behind um, when we got on the ship? Um, he brought us out something for the trip. Um, it's uh, all but it's good like any other primitive uh, wood. I mean, and riding a llama. Again, um, let me know how do you interpret these relics. I would love to hear that. So yeah, thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and bye-bye.